Hello everyone, we are on the public test server for Star Wars The Old Republic update 6.1.4. We are going to be checking out some of the new items that are potentially going to make their way to the live server. Because this is the test server, we don't know exactly when these items will be made live or be made real, um, but we do know we can preview them a bit here. There's no guarantee they will ever come out and we don't have any date and we don't even have any guarantee. This is exactly how they will look once we actually get there. So first off, there are some new armors available in collections. Let's go to the very end here. So the first one here is the Forest Pilgrim's armor set. And this you may have seen while you were doing the Dantooine Swoop event and we didn't quite know who these guys were. So now we have a little more info. They are the Force Pilgrims, apparently. Hopefully we'll learn more about them in the upcoming update. But in the meantime, it looks like we might be able to get their armor. So as once again, we are on the test server. My beautiful character's hair is showing through the helmet, so we don't have the best preview, unfortunately. However, these robes are pretty nice. They're pretty, pretty different than what we've seen before. And I bet you these would, would dye pretty well as well. So very interesting that we're seeing this as a, an actual armor that you can get in the game. Secondly, there's the Discharge Infantry's armor set. And this one is not actually available for preview yet, Infamous. Oh, here it is. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so it wasn't showing up right away, but the infamous mercenary armor set is also available for preview on the test server. And this is obviously inspired by the Mandalorian TV show, which will be having its new season coming out real soon here. But um, they often don't take direct outfits from current Star Wars lore and put them 3,000 years in the past, which is when Star Wars The Old Republic is set. So we've got this one here, a very Mandalorian-esque helmet. And one thing I have seen is that when you draw your weapon, this little little visor thing comes down over your eye. We know another one of our helmets from the cartel market also does that, so I think they stole the animation from that and just added it on this one. Looks pretty cool. You've got a really nice um, scarf here on the chest piece. It looks pretty good so far. I don't know if I'm going to get this one for myself, but if you're really looking for that Mandalorian style helmet, this is probably going to be the closest one we've seen so far. Lots of players have tried to make it work, uh, but we didn't have anything quite perfect, so it's pretty cool. There's also two new weapons available for preview on the PTS, and this is the two weapons right here. It doesn't look like they have their final names yet. Um, the first one is called Two Medical Tower. Probably going to have a better name in the proper version. When you go to the items, it's actually labeled the Payday Blaster Pistol, and I have a feeling that's probably what it's going to be called. Um, so it's kind of a kind of a funky shape. Pretty weird looking. Pretty interesting, I think, but uh, not quite sure exactly what they were going for. And we can also check the firing animation. Let's go real close and do that. Phew! Kind of has a unstable effect on the blaster. Unfortunately, we cannot preview the sound on the test server. That's just the way it'd be. So lastly, uh, those are the items available on the test server. And by the way, that uh, the medical tower guns, the payday blaster pistol, they also come with a, a holster, which is nice. Um, I always like the holsters. You have to find the right outfit to go with it so that it doesn't clip. Draw, stow weapon. See, there it goes. <laughs> it goes right in my big old trooper armor. You probably want to wear some like smuggler or, or lighter armor to make that holster actually work. And so the other weapon that players have been asking for for a long time is, can we have a weapon like in the Mandalorian show? So this is called, right now it's labeled as Tarnex's Battle Staff, which is not quite right, but here it's labeled as the Ambin JP Blaster Rifle, which is probably what it's going to actually be called. Um, so it's pretty cool looking. We can't get, a, it's kind of hard to get a look at the prongs at the front. It's kind of got a natural animation right here. It's got a little shocking 
shocking animation right here. Now let's look like wh what it looks like when it fires. Ooh, that's cool. Hello. And this is a blaster rifle, so unfortunately, um, our bounty hunters doesn't seem like they're actually going to be able to equip it, which is kind of sad. Maybe they'll release... I don't know how they would do that. And then next up, we'll look at some items outside of collections. I did not find these. Some other players found these, but I thought it was super cool. Okay, so first off, there is some new pets. Let's see if we can get them to show up. Oh, we need to show all. So these are available through searching through the decorations panel. It's assumed that they'll be added as actual ones as well. So this little guy is the Earthen Thurb from the Feast of Prosperity. Can't really get a really good look at this poor little buddy, unfortunately. This little tiny guy down here because you zoom in and you can't see anything else. But uh, there he is. So cute. New item on the PTS. Make your heart throb. <laughs> And then next up, there's also going to be the one that I'm most excited about. Pod. 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 Hover pod. Doesn't even have an icon yet. <gasps> Baby Yoda! Um, so players have been asking for a really long time. Can you please add Baby Yoda to the game? And the developers have basically said, no, we cannot add Baby Yoda to the game because Baby Yoda is 3,000 years in the future. So, players keep asking though. So, it looks like it, they may be adding it. Of course, this could just be a funny troll because uh, they know that we like to look on the test server and see what's there. So, it could be just a joke item. Um, we can't guarantee that it's something actually coming. But the hover pod is just like a pod. Like, you can't see anything in it. It could be any little critter in there. It could be a baby next to you. It's an empty pod. So, um... Right now we've got, yeah, Baby Yoda. It's going to be called Hover Pod. The decoration says the source is going to be the cartel market. So it'll probably be a pet, it looks like, um, that'll hover alongside beside you. No idea how much it would cost or how much it would cost to unlock or if this is the final version or not. Much like the other items that we previewed, we've seen that sometimes once they make it to the final um, version, like the live version, they look a bit different. So don't take any of these as the solid final word on what they'll look like. But yeah, Baby Yoda. Here, I'll move it over so you guys can see it. Baby Yoda pod. And that's uh, pretty much everything for items on the public test server. There may be a few more that we haven't seen yet, but we had those two new armors. Oh, there's actually some new mounts. So let me show you guys that too. Yeah, let's show you the new mounts as well. So there are also some new mounts available on the public test server. So we've got this Mudhorn mount, which you can't see an icon for, but... But! When you preview it, the preview is actually available! This guy is so cute! Um, so this is obviously, once again, based on the Mandalorian. Um, for those of you who remember the first season, it's the one that he fights with, with Baby Yoda. And I think that's a really cool addition to the game. Um, Mr. Sotoriso really wants them to add a Blurg mount, but I think this is a this one's probably going to sell really well and be really popular. I'm curious what the fur texture is going to be like outside the preview, because the preview window is a bit uh, sketchy. Like it's not not always very reflective of what it looks like in game. So it looks pretty cool. I like the saddle. I like the giant horn. I like the general shape of him. Pretty cool. Yeah, so much Mandalorian. Absolutely. So the next one we're going to look up is the hover turret. So here's a new one coming up. It's uh, basically just a hovering turret that you can ride. Pew, pew, pew. Um, so I assume when you use the Mount Flourish, this is what it will do. And uh, it doesn't really give a super good preview of um, the way it will hover, but I think you can imagine what it will be like. Pew, pew, pew. So Devastator Hover Turret. 
And then there's also some at the end I wanted to check. There's a mud horn. There's also the Cianair Drexel. Um, yeah, I think that may be new. Yeah, so here's another new one. This is the Cianair Drexel. Uh, it's, it's not finished yet. Clearly, you can't even preview your character on it. Not really sure exactly what's going on. It's like a half-finished model. So we'll see. Maybe we'll see this one a little more finished later on. And I think this one is also new. The Corellian Star Drive Vanguard. Not really sure why they're adding more ship mounts. Maybe maybe they found out they're popular. I'm not really sure. But yeah, here you go. It uh, opens up the pilot's cockpit cover so you can see your character. That's the animation when you do your mount flourish. I believe there was that uh, the pet that goes with it, and we'll check that real fast. Ah, yes, there's a pet that matched that model Corellian Star Drive Vanguard. I wonder if that's uh, a hint of something that might be showing up in the new story content. Don't really know. It's kind of cool, cute. I probably want that one because I collect all the pets. That's pretty much everything on the public test server in terms of items. Um, if you want to check out the test server yourself, the other things that are available on there are the conquest changes, as well as the changes to the, or rather, the addition of the new event called the Feast of Prosperity. The first quest or so is available in some of the other quests as well, though the event is not finished and the reward items are not previewable yet. So I'm going to be making another video about the Feast of Prosperity preview, so I'll see you in that one. See you guys later.